Welcome back to the basement. We're playing Super Metroid. We just beat Ridley in the last episode. Now we're making our way back to Brinstar, where we are going to head down to, like, the Mother Brain layer, I'm pretty sure. But we did Ooh, find out real. that the baby Metroid escaped from her oh. tiny little canister of sadness. Maybe... <laughs> Canister of sadness. I'm in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> if you're starting a polka band and you need a name, Canister of Sadness. <laughs> Sounds great to me. Canister of anything, really. <laughs> canister of apples. Canister of uh, jam jambalaya. Let's think of jelly beans and jawbreakers. Jambalaya just came out. <laughs> jelly beans, jawbreakers, jambalaya juice. <laughs> That, I would not try that juice. I would try that juice. <laughs> That's a lot of things to put in a juice. I would try it. Really? Jambalaya and jelly beans just does not sound like it goes together well. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I... <laughs> you've, you've had jelly beans and jambalaya? Is that well, no, saying? but sometimes you'd be surprised about what goes together. Oh, that's true. Peanut butter and uh, jalapeno sandwich. I we So good. We must have talked about this. Uh, my friend and I, uh, when I was young, when we would get extra bored, we used to make each other, we'd make each other a sandwich. Mm -hmm. you, so you'd make a sandwich and he'd make a sandwich and then we'd trade and then you had to eat the sandwich. And what well, was kind of <laughs> like, like that, it was a self handicapping game because you wouldn't want to be too vicious. Otherwise you knew you were going to get a sock sandwich next time <laughs> or something, you know, dirty sock sandwich. <clears throat> uh, but one time he made me a peanut butter mustard sandwich and I ended up like, kind of enjoying the weird goodness of the combination. Mmm. Yeah, and I made myself a few peanut butter mustard sandwiches after that. Wow, peanut butter mustard? I think I kind of like the attention too, because people are like, oh, what are you eating? And I'm like, peanut, peanut butter, butter mustard, mustard sandwich. sandwich. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> what? I'm different. Like, yeah, I'm cool, because I made a peanut butter mustard sandwich. And I'm wearing, my, I'm wearing my cool sunglasses that have mirrors on the side so I can see behind me. My, my, uh, oh, get, let go of me. My seven year old son totally has a pair of those sunglasses. I love those spy sunglasses. So great. No one even knows that you're looking at their face from in front of them. Ha! Ha! Oh, I remember that jump. Yeah, that we couldn't make. I couldn't make it. Oh man, I thought, don't, don't kill those guys. You gotta freeze them. But you don't. No! Oh. Uh, I got the timing all screwy. All screwy. Screwy me up. Tootie. Screw. Oh, I didn't have the timing screwy. If you get my drift, because oh, screw, screw attack, attack that I messed up. You screwed up your screw attack. Oh, gosh, so much platforming. Well, I'm that's how it goes. Performing the platforming. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's in Criteria. So, how genius was Metroid? Gosh, you think about the innovation of these games. I just, I sat that brief, quiet moment in which I wasn't filling the internet with my voice it was me just reflecting on the, like, the innovation and creativity of these early games. Because I thought about, like, was this really the first game that did this? But of course, the original Metroid is. Really? Oh, you can't? Oh, there you go. Now can you do it, or will it close? Um, but. I mean, you think about Mario and Zelda and how they are so different, right? One's totally linear, horizontal oh. platformer, you know, with gravity. Dang the other one's a top-down, go anywhere, up, down, left, right, you know, explore, non-linear. And then there's this one, which is, it's not a side-scroller, but it's an up, down, left, right, but side view with gravity. You know, and non-linear, but semi-linear almost, because you have to... I don't know, mm -hmm. it, it's... It's so interesting the way they, they uh. just decided to make three really different games. And one of them's a, you know, just a normal dude in the normal... I don't, I don't know how normal it is, but Mario, it's just, it feels normal, I guess, because it's such what? an original game. It feels like a normal guy? Well, it's just like a man, whereas Link is like a... A, like an elf ear Hylian, you know, and then Metroid, of course, is like it's like sci fi deep space. I don't know. Did they make this so you literally can't screw attack up here? I think they did. Pretty so that smart. Way, like, you still have to have your ice beam, basically. All right, 
Well, I guess we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way. I was right. Ice beam. Ice beam, baby. Ice beam, baby. I got me a car and it seats about 20. Ice beam, baby. <laughs> Ice beam, baby. Ice beam. Ice beam. Give me ice cream. <laughs> Tin roof! Boston! It's <laughs> <laughs> a funny song. What else did the B 52 sing? Did they sing that? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. I thought they had one other, like, mostly recognizable song, but I couldn't name it off the top of my head. B 52's an airplane. We, oh, I got an airplane story. Ooh, I want to hear an airplane story, and then I want to play pilot wings. So, <laughs> my son, my not seven-year-old son, turned ten last month. Yeah, and, and then uh, your seven-year-old son turned seven like a this week month. Ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, my dad gave him it's like a a wooden plane, like display thing on a little stand, and he, my kid put it on his desk, and it's cool. And uh, it's an F-18 Hornet, Ooh. American like military jet cool. plane or whatever. And we were out to eat when this happened, and uh, this like tall, skinny, old, buff-looking dude um, stops by and says, "Oh, that's an F-18. That's a nice airplane." And my son's like, huh. "Oh, thanks, Mister." And he's like, "You know, I was a, I was a pilot. I flew an F-4 Phantom." And we're like, what? Shut up, really? And he like, he flew back in whatever war he's old enough to have flown in. Wow. And uh, he was a legit pilot and um, like kind of stood there, you know, he didn't pull up a chair or anything, but he told my kid a few things about that and said, you know, study hard and get good grades. You're gonna need it if you wanna be a, you know, a pilot like that. And, wow. And uh, <clears throat> like my kid was glowing from that interaction. It was neat. I oh, just, look how much faster that was. Wow. That was cool. Way faster. Speed run technique. You know what I think would be really fun sometime? Speed run everything. A blind speed run of a game. A blind speed run. Well, like, it would have it to could be, be a, a game that you, game. I'm just saying, it could be a game that you played before, but that what you do, what we would do is you watch a speed run first so you know some of the techniques, oh, okay. but you don't practice them at all. You just go for it. Wow. And you try to get through the game as quick as possible using those techniques and see how fast you can do it with a blind speed run. S speed runs definitely are a little too clinical because they're just pixel perfect now with like the tool assisted save state speed Here run. Here we go. <gasps> Here it is. Here, Here it go. is. What's Here gonna we go. Happen? He's going to turn really gray. He's going to turn into a thing. Back to the ground. Shaky, shaky. Eggs and bakey. <clears throat> <laughs> We got to have a breakfast basement. Sometime. Yeah, basement breakfast for sure. Basement breakfast. I really like the water. We could do a series of a game that starts with the letter B. Or a bunch of games that start with oh, B, like one-offs. Look at this. Ew. Oh, that Perfect. one boss was so creepy. Was that the first one with like the eyeball mouth thing? No, that was Fantoon. And he was... Uh, yeah, he that's in, right. He was in. He was in the ghost ship. Somebody commented. He as did, much. and he told me the name. And that was uh, Keen Eye Gaming, I think. Is uh... Fantoon. All right, let's go save here. He does have a keen eye. He really does. A keen eye he for catches a things. Game guy. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and all the goyim say I'm pretty fly for a rabbi. <laughs> Is that Weird Al? Yes. I didn't know he covered that song. Oh, he did. That's such a oh, funny Metroid! Oh! Real Metroids. Wow. So the baby apparently grew up and had lots of babies of its own that all grew up, and now they're hideous. You gotta freeze it and then hit it with five missiles. Right? <gasps> it's on ya! Lasagna! Oh, gosh, get off of me! Oh, it's something so scary about the way that it just drains. Yeah, I won't Stop. get it. Oh, this is bringing back memories of being like really frightened of these things. Yeah, those other the things NES were version. not real Metroids. This is a real Metroid, though. 
the other things in the first game, you mean? No, we fought some Metroid type Oh, it things. doesn't hurt you while you're screw attacking. How are you gonna- oh, there's two on you. It's draining you twice as fast. Oh my gosh, real Metroids! I was not prepared for this! How are you gonna get them off? I'm gonna oh, leave the go room, the door. and then I'm gonna have to fight them this style. Where you actually you freeze them first, shoot them with missiles. Yeah, and just rid the room of them. Ooh, super missile. That could, that could work. Cheerios! Remember those from the original Metroid? Yeah. Good for stocking up. Get off of me! Okay. Oh, it's just such high stakes. I just... I feel like there was a way to get them off you in the original. Yeah, there was. You could... It was what you were doing. You could ball up and bomb out. But it didn't work anymore. It sure seemed like it wasn't working. I don't know. I've never... I've never gotten to the Metroids in this game. Yeah. Gosh, this is so terrifying, like, especially if you can't get them off of you. Yeah. That's really terrifying, and It, like, dude. ends the successful run at the room. You gotta oh, start man. over. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be more. <laughs> can you shoot them with regular missiles? You can. You got so many super missiles, but though, and they're providing you with more. Wow. That one came at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Show it in. Show enough. Oh, Metroids. Come at me, bro. That's right, Ted. <laughs> they sure huh. did. They've they got sure an aggressive strategy they came this all the year. way at me. Metroids are so confrontational. <laughs> they're not like booze. They're not like, hey, can we just talk this over? Yeah. They're like, listen, I'm sure we could work something they're out. They're not like, hey, uh, can I borrow some of your energy? Violence no, like, isn't hey, the answer. I want it. I want it now. I'm You're taking gonna it. give it to me. I don't know what kind of accent this is, but I'm sure it's what Metroids sound like. I thought I all Metroids were French. Oh, 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 I'm got to sack out all of y'all in the G. Maybe they're no, vampires. No, uh -oh. no, no, there's got to be a way to get them off of you. There's got to be a way to get them off. Oh, of there, you're out. That works. You just, you got to like bomb up so you can bomb them in the middle. Uh, at least they're like letting me yeah, take them on one at a time. It's nice that the, like, it's structured the way that it, like, the room is structured the way that it is, and they're not smart enough to go around. They just try to fly gotcha. straight at you. This feels very much like the end of the game happening here, y'all. Yeah, you're getting a really serious, like, posture and facial expression for this part of the game. You're like, um, ah, I don't know. Okay, what? every missile matters. Wow, the only thing I can do is kill this guy with missiles. And it takes that many? Apparently. Can you just, like, go through them? We're gonna need to explore more map and increase our capacity for some of this stuff, aren't we? I think so. Probably takes a hundred super missiles to kill. Uh-oh. That's not good. If a Chozo did not survive whatever happened here... Something sucked all of its life out. Ooh. Oh, like an Ultra Metroid. Everything has been sucked dry, you guys. Look at this. I want to suck your blood. Oh. Everything. Except that. Oh, 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 oh snap. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to hide. I'm going to. That's that. what happened to everything. Is that the baby? Uh -huh. There's no way the baby's going to kill you. You saved it. <gasps> no! Wow, you were in the middle of a screw attack and it grabbed you. Wow. Ew, look how big it is. Look at it go. <gasps> oh. It's the baby. It brought you down to one. It made that same noise before. Is it on your side? Is it going to give you health? I don't know what it did. You're shrugging a lot. It's like, eh, eh, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. One health. Wow. Yeah, that's okay. One health. One health. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. What a great way to end the episode. Wow. Next time in the basement, we're going to see what happens. Gosh, my heart's racing. That really... I knew that that was the baby Metroid, and it still was, like, very intense. Yeah, it was intense. I agree. Okay, thanks, guys, so much for joining us. We're going to see what happens next. This is getting really exciting. Uh, stick around. 
um, for the end of the series coming soon. And uh, what game will come next? We don't know. We'll, uh, we'll discuss that later. What will come next in this game? That's truly what I'm curious for. Um, you can leave a like and subscribe, uh, and you can subscribe to us if you want to. That's fine. And uh, we're around. We produce new content every day. We've always got a game or two going at a time. And uh, Mario Maker's on Mondays. Yep. Other stuff as we are inspired, and uh, that's what we're about. So enjoy, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you next time. On the basement. In uh, right here at the basement.